Hey everyone, my name is Kayla Fratt. I'm 28 years old and I'm here to tell you about an adventure I'm about to go on. So I am a conservation detection dog trainer, an adventurer, an ecologist, a storyteller, and um, you may know me from being a contestant on National Geographic's season one of Called to the Wild along with my dog Barley. You may know me from running Journey Dog Training, which is my main dog training business, or you may know me from my latest endeavor, which is Canine Conservationists, where I train dogs to detect data. So I grew up in Northern Wisconsin um, uh, in a really rural agrarian community. I was always obsessed with animals and obsessed with travel. And I was lucky enough to have parents who, even though they didn't have that much money, they scraped together quite a bit for travel for us. So when I was 17 years old, I had the opportunity to study abroad with AFS. I chose to go to Panama, so I studied agriculture. I had to bring a machete to school every day. While I was there, I met some people who were biking the Pan American Highway. So I've been obsessed with the idea of the Pan American Highway ever since then. After graduating college, my um, now ex-boyfriend and I, along with our dog Barley, drove from mid British Columbia to Panama. Um, we were planning on driving the whole Pan American Highway. Um, so I've done parts of the Pan American Highway, but we ended up coming back and moving to Montana early um, because I was offered an absolute dream job with working dogs for conservation. I stayed in Montana for about two years. While I was driving the Pan American Highway the first time with Andrew, um, I started really leaning into freelance writing and journey dog training, um, which is how I'm able to afford this trip now. So journey dog training, my online dog behavior advice center, um, brings in passive income for me. I'm really, really lucky to have it. I was, um, didn't really have this huge master plan, but I was reading a lot of books about passive income and blogging and content creation and all of that sort of stuff. And now journey dog training is at a place where it makes me a about $2,000 a month, maybe $3,000 a month in passive income. But it's enough for me to do this trip, um, hopefully with inflation. And shortly after working dogs for conservation and I parted ways, I bought a sprinter van. We will have a whole separate story and tour of Saga um, because right after I bought her, she ended up needing a new engine. And I was planning to drive the Pan American Highway with Saga at the time. Um, so I bought her in March of 2021. Um, with the hope that the Canadian border was going to reopen that summer and I would be able to do the northern half of the Pan American Highway summer 2021. Um, the Canadian border never did reopen, so I wasn't able to that summer. But now it is May 2022, the Canadian border is open again and I am planning on heading up north. Um, currently, you may notice I am neither in Montana nor Canada nor like where am I? Um, I'm actually in Kenya right now. I've been here for the last six weeks um, with canine conservationists, helping as an outside consultant for an organization here that trains dogs to find cheetah scat. So I've been here for about six weeks helping out the team here and getting the dogs trained and getting the handlers trained. Um, and as soon as I fly back to the US here in um, less than a week, I'm going to be loading Saga up, loading the dogs up um, and sharing our journey with you. I did decide as of yesterday that we are not going to be doing the official Pan American Highway route up north. Um, we will be following parts of it at times, but after we hit Juneau, we're going to split with the traditional route. And instead of heading towards Fairbanks and Prudhoe Bay, my plan is to go up to the Canadian side of the Arctic um, so that I can take Barley and um, his nephew, Niffler, um, my two border collies. I want to get them to the Arctic Ocean. And if you go to Prudhoe Bay, um, you, the Pan American Highway actually stops eight miles away from Prudhoe Bay and you have to then get on the bus for the last eight miles to the, the Arctic Ocean. This is ridiculous but I have told Barley that I'm going to let him swim in the Arctic Ocean. It is on his bucket list and I'm a crazy dog lady so we are going to go the Arctic, um, the Canadian Arctic route partially to let my dogs get into the ocean. Myself and the two dogs are going to be the only ones who complete the whole trip but I am going to have various co-pilots along the way. So right now the plan is that my boyfriend Jason is going to be joining me for the first month or so of the trip. Um, he lives in Missoula so I'm going to pick him up in Missoula when I get back from Kenya um, and he's going to come with me as far as Juno. so we're planning on hiking Mount Ziza. we're going to go check out the Chilka Coot Pass, um, all sorts of great stuff in kind of British Columbia area. And then I'm going to go and hopefully meet my friend Becca in Whitehorse. She's going to join me from Whitehorse up to the Arctic Circle and back up to the Arctic Ocean and back. Um, and then I'm going to meet up with my mom and sister somewhere around Banff. 
And then um, over the summer, I'm going to take a couple months off of the trip to go work um, with West Inc. on a wind farm and make a bunch of money. So my dogs are trained to find bat carcasses and we will spend three-ish months um, kind of <laughs> refilling our savings account since journey dog training, as I said, doesn't make that much money. Um, and especially with the way diesel prices are right now. So I'll take a pause, do that, and then in the fall, after we're done with our seasonal field work, then we will continue on south. And I've got a couple other co-pilots hopefully lined up, but I'm also actively seeking co-pilots um, for, uh, for various sections of the trip. So that is the plan. Um, I'm going to be documenting all of this on YouTube. Um, follow along. We are on Instagram at Collies Without Borders. We're on TikTok, TikTok at Canine Conservationists. Um, and we're here, obviously. So we'll see you there.